Buddhism. In this module, you'll learn about the rise of Buddhism and its basic tenets. Buddhism is a religion that was founded by Siddhartha, or Gautama, who was born around 2,500 years ago. Gautama was a Kshatriya and belonged to a small gunna, or clan, known as the Sakya gunna. At a very young age, Gautama left home in search of knowledge. In his quest for knowledge, Gautama wandered to different places and met different sages and thinkers. Finally, he decided to meditate under a people tree at Bodhgaya in Bihar, where he attained enlightenment. After his enlightenment, Gautama came to be known as the Buddha or the Wise One. Buddha imparted his first teachings at Sarnath near Varanasi. Buddha taught that the root cause of human suffering was tanta or desire. He believed that in order to be happy, one must overcome one's desires. Therefore, he said that life should be lived in moderation to avoid constant cravings or desires. Buddha believed that our present or next life is the result of our actions or karma, that he encouraged people to be kind towards other human beings as well as animals. Buddha also believed that only those who left their homes could attain true knowledge. Therefore, an association known as Sangha was started for the followers of Buddhism. People who joined the Sangha had to follow certain rules, which were later recorded in a book called Vinaya Pitaka. The Vinaya Pitaka states that men and women had to join separate branches of the Sangha. All men had the right to join the Sangha. However, children, slaves and women had to take permissions from their parents, masters and husbands respectively before joining the Sangha. The Vinaya Pitaka also states that people who join the Sangha should pass their time teaching, meditating and helping each other. If required, then these people could participate in meetings to settle disagreements. The Sangha included people from all walks of life, such as merchants, brahmins, kshatriyas, laborers, courtesans and slaves. All the people in the Sangha led a simple life and begged for food during fixed hours. Therefore, they were also known as bhikkhus or bhikkhunis, meaning beggars in Prakrit. Buddhist monks traveled from place to place throughout the year to spread the teachings of Buddha. However, during the rainy season, they lived in caves or in temporary shelters built by supporters. With time, permanent brick shelters called viharas or monasteries were built for Buddhist monks. The land for the monasteries was mostly donated by the kings or rich merchants. The local people contributed to the successful running of the monasteries by supplying food, medicines and clothes for the monks. In return, these monks shared their teachings with the people. 2,500 years ago, Buddha and his followers spread Buddhism by using Prakrit, the language of the common masses at that time. Gradually, over a period of time, Buddhism was taught by many people in different languages. It is because of this that Buddhism spread across the Indian subcontinent and beyond. Let's recall what you've learned. Buddhism was founded by Siddhartha or Gautama, who was born around 2,500 years ago. Gautama meditated under a people tree at Bodhgaya, where he attained enlightenment. After his enlightenment, Gautama came to be known as the Buddha, or the Wise One. Buddha taught that the root cause of human suffering was tanha, or desire. He believed that in order to be happy, one must overcome one's desires. Buddha used the language of the ordinary people, Prakrit, in his teachings. Buddha believed that our present or next life is a result of our actions or karma. Therefore, he encouraged people to be kind towards others. Buddha has started an association known as Sangha for the followers of Buddhism. People who joined the Sangha had to follow certain rules, which were recorded in a book called Vinaya Pitaka. The Vinaya Pitaka states that the people who joined the Sangha should pass their time teaching, meditating, and helping each other. Permanent brick shelters called monasteries or viharas were built 
Pavadas Mamuks.